Good morning, Concord. Noah here with your daily devotion. This morning, I woke up to a text from Pastor Kurt that was a link to a YouTube video, and that video was a new song by Shane and Shane, who they're great artists. They have a number of songs, just redoing hymns, modernizing hymns, covering Bible stories. And this song was literally word for word, almost exactly the verses of Psalm 90. They, they spent the first few minutes of the video talking about what this psalm means, um, what, it means what it means to them, what they've gotten from it, the hope that's in it. And then they, they wrote this song based on Psalm 90. And I'm going to put a link to that song in the description. But what I noticed as, as I was studying it, as I was looking at Psalm 90 this morning, is for years I have misunderstood the main focus of Psalm 90. If you're familiar with Psalm 90, you know there's a verse right smack in the middle. It's a 17-verse psalm. Um, right in the middle of Psalm 90 is Psalm 90:12, when it says, Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. For years, when I've, when I've thought of Psalm 90, I've thought of that verse. And I've used this psalm, and I've used that verse as a, a form of call to productivity. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. I've used it for so long as th this call to be productive, not even to focus on God, just to be productive, um, to number our days, to use our time wisely. I tie it into Ephesians 5.16 a lot. Just the idea of being productive, not wasting time. And what I've realized through listening to that devotion to that song this morning is this psalm is not just a psalm about being productive and using your time wisely. This is a psalm from people who are thirsty to know God. When they talk about numbering their days, um, what, what it's referring to is focusing on God more throughout your days. That's the idea behind gaining a heart of wisdom. And the reason I think that now is not just because of this song, but because of a verse that never stuck out to me until it was the chorus of this song. And that verse is Psalm 90 verse 14. So two verses after, teach us the number of our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom David writes, Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all of our days. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all of our days. I think that is the central verse, the motivating verse behind this whole passage. Not just teach us to number our days, satisfy us. Set our hearts on you. Let us stop wandering after what we're trying to be satisfied by. But you satisfy us. And he specifically says, in the morning. So first thing in the morning, satisfy us with your unfailing love that we might sing for joy and be glad all our days. I think it's really cool. The idea that this song is not just a work hard and and try to do right all your days. It's a focus on God and be satisfied. The chorus of this song they wrote says, When the sun comes up, satisfy us, before the day has passed us by. Before our hearts forget all your goodness, satisfy us with your love. So I'm going to put the link to that song in the video this morning um, so that you can go and listen to it. I'm sure it's going to come up again down the road. It is just so hopeful and so encouraging. But my encouragement to you this morning is this. If you have been going through your life this season, this month, this week, this day, trying to find things that satisfy you, trying to work hard enough to be satisfied, trying to fill your time with satisfying things, stop. Instead, focus on God. Let him satisfy you first thing in the morning. Start your day today by recognizing him for who he is, for what he's done for you, and for his ability to provide for all of your needs and to provide for all of the longings you have. He is the one, the only, the single thing that can satisfy us the way we need to be satisfied. So I love you, and I'm praying for you. And I can't wait to see you again, and I hope you have a great 4th of July weekend.